Welcome back to Wasteland 2. We're here at the Rail Nomads Camp. And, uh, well, let's check it out. So I suppose we're here looking for the rest of Ace's logbook? Well, that's one of the things we're doing, definitely. Um, apparently I still need to give Ace's star to somebody at HQ. Who would that be, though? Didn't I talk to everybody important? Hmm. Well, anyway, I think we're also looking for that traitor guy who last saw Ace or something like that. I don't know, it's all kind of blurring blurring in my memory now, but we're here because of Ace for some reason. Actually, there's no dirt clods over here I can dig up. What the hell is this thing? A makeshift guard tower. It doesn't look like anybody's on duty. No trespassing. Something will be shot on sight. Atchison's? Huh? Atchison's will be shot on sight. What the hell's an Atchison? Population 44. It's actually a relatively big population for a settlement in the wastes. Half buried in the sand is a rusty, shot up population sign. It looks like someone has been updating the population count recently. The sign reads, Rail Nomads, Population 44. It's been updated recently, huh? Has it been updated up or down? Has it been incremented or decremented? Is it a plus plus or a minus minus? <laughs> well, there's the answer to that. <laughs> Uh, hi? Please, strangers. My friend Ralphie's in the lake, and he can't swim. Please hurry, the lake is this way. Okay. We'll save your son, ma'am. Oh, but first, hold on, what does this say? Here fell the brave ranger Tisdale in defense of the Santa Fe. Though they took our homes, he saved our lives. Though we, s Though we are scattered, he will not be forgotten. Oh, right, we're trying to save your life, or your son's life. Where'd you go? Oh, here we go. <clears throat> help, help, I'm drowning. Uh, where are you? Oh, there you are. Go, 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 go. Alright, uh, what can we do this? Uh, totem... Uh, strength. Do it! Quickly! Kick it down! I don't know why we can't just swim out there. <laughs> Thank God it wasn't too- oh! Oh! What? What? It was right there! What the- Well, if only I hadn't have stopped to read, read that sign. I'm actually surprised there was an actual time limit. That was because of a time limit, right? Because I was... I, I was thinking maybe, you know, this totem pole, like, it hit him in the head. I don't know, maybe it did. It didn't seem like it did, though. Oh, Rangers are here to protect and serve, ma'am. I'm sorry. Where is she? It seems like I did that right and on time. I'm not really sure why I died. I'm also not really sure why we can't just swim out there. I mean, other than the fact that obviously swimming is just not a function that actually is in the game, but... Still. Like, that water can't be more than, like, seven feet deep or something. Doesn't look too steep. I don't know. Whatever. It's no big deal. 
except to the dead person and his family. That's a pretty big deal to them. Water looks clean. I don't know, it started out kind of funny, but now I just kind of feel bad. I'm not going to load my save game, though. That's cheap. Crystal? Hmm. It's pretty. Uh, hi. Just let him drown. I didn't fucking let him drown. Did you see... Did you see Angela's form as she kicked down that totem pole? Just in the almost nick of time? We tried. A rotten, putrid smell emanates from this lake. The water is a dark green color and doesn't look like it's safe for swimming. Hmm. Transmorpher! That actually might be something that the dude whose name I forgot would want for the museum. Ranger Team Echo, this is Citadel Base. Have you heard any reports Rangers, of me? We didn't do it. There's more to this job than just jingling your spurs and shooting at lizards. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Let oh, go fuck yourself, like Vargas. That. We tried. Now Fuck get you. back to the job at hand. Ranger command out. Douchebag. I mean, sir, yes, sir. We're terrible, sir. We're ashamed of ourselves. I'm gonna blame it on the dog. It's your fault. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 11%. 45% chance of critical failure. How do you critically fail? Like, what happens if you critically fail with a wall gate? I mean, what the hell happens? I mean, if you critically fail with, say, like, opening a chest or something, I think it breaks the lock or whatever. But how can you... You obviously can't critically fail and break something that you wanted to break in the first place. So... Does that mean to critically fail with brute force is to do the opposite and repair it? Hmm. What the hell is a dead body up here? What the fuck's been going on? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you're not dead. No, you're not dead. Alright. Well, I don't think you're on a timer, so I'm going to leave you for now. <clears throat> Let's try something. Let's see if this works. I don't know if that's wood or, like, concrete or something. I can't tell. Ineffective. Yeah, all right. Can examine it for some reason. Let's try an explosive. Um, a shitty one. Although if it's a shitty explosive, it's probably also going to be ineffective. Never mind. Okay, so even shitty explosives are useful for blowing shit up. Fiberglass case with heavy plastic latches looks like just the kind of thing in which you safely store your guns. <gasps> oh. You go first, Angela. Oh my god. Again, I don't have an energy weapon skill, but... 
I could sell that for a pretty penny. Maybe I should give somebody the energy weapon skill. No. I've already invested too much in the normal weapon skills. It's not worth it. Alright. Train station, the jungle. You died on the way to the train station. My leg! I think it's broken! Anybody! I need some help! One of those coffee can bombs uh, went off under me. Oh god, I think I'm gonna die. No, you're not gonna die. Hold on. Wait, I can't use surgery on him? Oh, no, wait. I oh, 12%? Oh, that's not good. Alright, well, I mean, can I critically fail? Because if I can't, then I might as well just keep trying. Alright. I'm gonna have to put these... Oh, oh god! Critical failure. We're, we made it worse. Go tell Kekana but this happened. He'll send somebody to actually help. He's in the meeting hall around the curve in the path ahead. Okay, curve in the path ahead. Meeting hall. Meeting hall. Sure. Uh, this the meeting hall? Curve in the path ahead? Like... Around the curve in the... Is this it? I don't know. Let's try it. Looking for some dude with a weird name. Hakanakamaka. Where's your name? Where are you? Nancy, little Joe, you, no, you're not the people. Fuck you people. Got a man dying here and we're, you're playing cards. God, I bet you're just the kind of asshole that would just let a boy drown. The fuck's wrong with you people? These places aren't marked. This can't be the town. Oh, wait, wait, this has got to be it, right? Uh, almost wholly faded. I don't know what the fuck that says. We're going in. Why are there so many dead people? What the hell happened here? The librarian. What the fuck? No trespassing, Atchison's, all right, great. Chopper one to base. Got Atchison sneaking along the western perimeter. Looks like they're up to no good. I understand what you're trying to say. 10-4, Chopper one. Hang back till I get you some reinforcements. Where exactly are you at? Negative, Topeka base, disregard, disregard. It was a couple of coyotes. False alarm. <laughs> uh... Okay, Chopper One, and, uh, lay off those squeezins for a while, alright? Okay, I've gone way too far. Where the fuck is this place? It's probably already dead by now. Alright, hold on, what did he say again? He's in the meeting hall around the curve in the path ahead. Alright, well, path starts to curve here. Maybe this is the meeting hall. You think it'd have a freaking sign, though. This place does not have a sign. It's got some graffiti. I don't know, try this place. There's nobody here! God damn it! This place is stressful. I don't like it. I already went in there. It's just a stupid sign. I haven't gone in there, but it doesn't have a sign. This is the goddamn librarium. Elder, okay, that's a good sign. But you're not the person. You're also not the person. Okay, can I tell you about the person that's fucking dying? You've done enough harm already, I'm gonna make sure everybody hears about it. Fuck you! Okay. That's one way to respond to somebody attempting and failing to help your son, is to attempt to murder the person who tried to save you. C can we just go? You cannot run away during combat. Well, 
shit. Well, shit, isn't everybody in town gonna hate us after this? For self-defensing ourselves? I'm gonna kill the Elder. Am I really gonna kill the Elder? I don't have any goddamn choice. Alright, well, if I'm gonna kill the Elder, I'm not gonna waste ammo doing it. Alright, well my journey to uh, Rail Nomads Camp, I would say, is a success. Oh my god, it's a family photo. Aww. Makeshift cleaver. It's made out of a sign. Circuit board chest plate. That sounds cool. A photo of a young boy and his mother. I've still done nothing wrong. I tried to fucking save him, I failed, and then I defend myself. Alright. Looks like the locals do not want to kill me. Still, though, where is the town hall? Did I check this place? I don't think I did check this place, but I'm pretty sure the town hall would have a fucking sign. What the hell? Uh... I think she wants to have sex with us. Now is not the time, ma'am. Maybe it's around here? I started going back here and I didn't see anything, though. No, that doesn't look like it... There's no way the fucking town hall's back here. I'm going to spend this entire episode just looking for the town hall. No one listens to the old hobo. They turned him away from their doors. They chased him out of their yards. They threw rocks at him and laughed at his stories about robots coming back from the grave. And so he cursed them. He told them that their train would wreck and that brother would turn against brother and that all of the men in the tribe would lose their left arms. And every single thing he said came true. This is Chief Kekaba, with a warning about Circuit. Smoking ground-up scorpions may be fun at first, but it can lead to addiction and death. Keep your pride. Don't take the first puff. Look, dare I say, I think you might deserve to die for your terrible direction giving. Like, it's around the bend. Okay, I mean, a Ben's here and I've checked every place. Maybe I need to go where a Ben's even more? But I've already been over here, there's nothing over here. At least no buildings. Certainly no damn town hall. Alright, let's keep going. There's an arrow pointing to go up there to for something. Rangers aren't welcome here. Well, yeah, try and stop me. That's this not the town hall. My choppers just wait, wait, wait. found another Atchison bomb buried near the water tank. It has been defused, the but there hall. may be others. Be on your guard, Topekans. The Atchisons hate us for our quality of life, and will stop at nothing to bring us down to their level. This actually is the meeting hall up here, because this is apparently the west entrance. The west door of the meeting hall, yeah. So the main entrance has to be up here, okay. <laughs> Around the bend. Yeah, wonderful directions to someone who's never been here. It's around like five different bends. <sighs> John Henry said to his captain, A man ain't nothing but a man. <laughs> and before I let that steel drill beat me down, I'll die with the hammer in my hand. Lord, Lord, I'll die with the hammer in my hand. John Henry was a jiver on the mountain, and his head was a flashing fire. And the last words I heard that poor boy sing 
Jimmy Cool, drink of water for I die. Lord, Lord, Jimmy Cool, drink of water for I die. That was really cool. Oh, right, there's a person dying. What's your name? Hakalaka Mala? Laka Padana? What's, what's your name? Kekaba something. Chopper. There you are. Oh my Rangers, god, you have health. What are you doing here? Hmm, apparently Vulture's Cry has never heard of their tribe. Anyway, we have bigger issues. A flinty eyed older man in a Native American war bonnet and fringed jacket. The left sleeve of the jacket is empty and pinned up. The lack of a left arm has not diminished his presence, however. Indeed, it seems to have given him an extra helping of gravitas, which he wasn't exactly lacking to begin with. His name's actually not too hard to pronounce, it's actually Kekaba, I think. You dare show your faces here, Rangers? You are the ones who let the Parker boy drown! Only my respect for your chief, Vargas, is stopping me from killing you where you stand. Killing me because I was like half a second too late. O okay. Right, well, bigger problems. Dude dying. Help him. <sighs> it was the Atchison's, wasn't it? Their bombs have been killing and maiming us by the dozens. That we once considered them brothers is unthinkable. They claim we've stolen their precious golden spike, but it was never theirs to begin with. Our conflicts with them will not end until each and every Atchison, Atchison hangs. I'll have one of my choppers assist the poor man. Wait, you're gonna help him with the chopper? I assume that's a name for a, a person and not an actual helicopter. And if it is, then I hope they don't like to chop too much, because that's not a very good way of getting medic of giving medical attention. Okay, well, we're gonna tour we're gonna turn our poor reputation around here. Let's do some good. Tell me about the choppers. They're my personal guard. Men so loyal that they served their left served, severed their left arms when I lost mine in the great train wreck. That's about the dumbest thing I've ever heard. So as a, as a sign of loyalty, you have your guards maim themselves so that they're less effective at guarding you. Okay. Tell me more about the wreck. The Atchison's greatest sabotage. They smashed the ties and our train derailed. I was driving the train and lost my arm in the wreck. Now I can never drive again. I will never forgive the Atchison's for that. Why can't you drive the train? It's impossible. Even the strongest man needs two arms to drive a train. M why? I mean, I don't actually know what's involved in driving a train, so I, that's probably true for all I know. I just, I can't imagine why you'd need two arms. Hmm. So, they cut off their arms? Yes, to honor me and the arm I lost in the wreck. Do not think it makes them less dangerous. They can still kick your asses. Oh, I'm sure they can but that's probably because they're like level 100, not because they only have one arm. Tell us your side of the story. The story about what? Conflicts, conflicts, conflicts. Oh, the conflicts with the Atchison's. Okay. I'm very tired of telling it, but if I must. Once the Atchison's and the Topekans worked together in harmony... But then, Casey James became angry with us because he believed the Golden Spike was Atchison property and that we'd stolen it from them and grown wealthy because of it. He told his people to sabotage the rails, causing our first train to wreck. We've been at war ever since. Uh, 
Topicons, Topicans. I don't know. Are you sure the Atchinsons caused the train wreck? Of course I am. I was driving that train personally, and it was not I who wrecked it. And the Atchinsons didn't stop there. Now they've stolen essential parts from our second train, and we can no longer travel or trade. They've stolen our livelihood. Until the brake shoe is returned. We are at war. <laughs> They're missing a brake shoe. Alright, I'm gonna fix this. Like, this is how I'm, this is my in to repairing my reputation in this town. It all starts with a brake shoe. Would you like us to get the brake shoe back? No. We will get it back on our own. We do not require outside assistance. <laughs> okay, well, you don't want me to get it back. Well, too damn bad. I'm going to get it back anyway. Did you steal it? Steal what? Oh, the golden spike. How could I steal it when it was ours to begin with? And besides, the golden spike is all our property. Topekans and Atchinsons alike. We don't keep it in our town hall because we want to keep it out of Atchinson's hands. We keep it here because the hall is secure, unlike their impoverished little camp. How secure is it? The display case is locked, and my choppers are on guard at all times, and will attack anyone who attempts to take it. Hmm... Well, they do only have one hand each. Casey James. Who was that again? Someone. Oh, the leader of the Atchinsons. Once we were friends. We worked side by side. He to maintain the rails, I to maintain the trains. Now he is my enemy and uses the weapons of a coward. A quick death is too good for him. Alright, who are the Topekans? We are a peaceful people, honest traders who once crossed the wastes like gods upon our iron horse. And we will again, as soon as we have taken back from the Atchinsons what is rightfully ours. What do you think of the Atchinsons? That's kind of a it's pretty clear based on the stuff they've said, but let's just ask it anyway. They don't fight with honor, okay. Sabotage, yep. Continue to hope for peace. Hmm, would you allow the rangers to negotiate a peace? I told you before, our private affairs are not your concern. Besides, I doubt it's possible. Alright, what is this golden spike? The sacred golden spike was given to our forefathers before the apocalypse by the Hammer God, John Henry, and is a symbol of our right to rule all the rail tribes. It is our most sacred relic. The Atchinsons believe it is theirs alone, but they are liars and shall never have it. The Hammer God, John Henry. Who was John Henry? The first of our tribe, and the greatest. A fighter of robots and a driver of steel, who laid all the rails you have ever seen, and died with his hammer in his hand. Lord, Lord. Tell me more about the war. Or ten in hand, okay. I think I've already I think he's already kinda of said that. Yeah, so apparently they used to work together on the railway, but then they hate each other now and yeah. Do the Atchinsons still tend the rails? They do not. Another reason I still try to make peace with them. We haven't the skill to fix the rails, and it will take time to learn. We keep hoping that Atchinsons will stop their atrocities and return to the bargaining table so that we can work together again. But it doesn't seem to matter how many of them I hang. They still won't see sense. <laughs> Maybe that's why they won't see sense, because you keep hanging them. Uh, look, I'm sorry we couldn't save the boy. Sorry will not be enough. His mother grieves his passing and blames you for it. <laughs> if you value your lives, I would avoid her. Uh, about that, 
Um... Look, uh, you might not want to go in the trailer over there. Um, just trust me, just don't, don't go in there. I'm not sure why this option is called dare. Dare what? I'm not going to say that, though. That's, uh, I don't know, it seems scary. Goodbye. Keep out of our business, rangers. Nope. Oh, I could totally take these choppers. <laughs> they each got single pistols, 75 hit points. Yeah, I can take them. I'm not going to, of course. I'm not a... I'm not a band of murderers just looking to get as much loot as possible. Alright, let's go check on the boy who wanted help, see how he's doing. And then we can start exploring this place proper. Because uh, I just kind of ran through here like crazy looking for the meeting hall. Okay, he's not there anymore. It's a good sign. Let's start at the beginning. realize there's a person hanging over there. I'll go check that out in a second. What are y'all up to? Little Joe, James, Nancy, and Billy. Don't want Soylent, I want pancakes. Wait, no, no, not I want pancakes, I want a pancakes. You want a pancakes? I want a waffle. Uh, Vulture's Cry? It's generally considered poor manners to um, r run in people's food. Also, I just realized either we're very large or they're very small. Uh, are they kids? They've got to be kids, right? They're they're tiny. Soylent like Green is people. Savory, delicious people. Yeah, I think they are kids. We ain't got no X tree for company if and you had been invited. Alright, I'm getting the hell out of here. C come on, somebody leave. Everybody's getting stuck on the table. Alright, yeah, there's somebody hanging here. Apparently that's an Atchison. Um, either they're mutants or that body's been there a long time, because it's looking kind of weird. Let's not go in here. Now we have rail thieves trying to steal from us. Okay. It's another bad faction. Or maybe not faction, but another bad group. Alright, yeah, so why is the library... Uh, I totally forgot the dude's name. Li what, do you, what do you call the person who... Not library. Not librarium. What's the name of the person? Librarian. That's the name of it. Librarian. Yeah, why is the librarian dead? It was the victim of an um, impromptu nephrectomy. The patch on his shirt says, Jaeger.
Wait, where did these come from? Oh, it's all of these in that note. Yeah. List of library debtors. Okay, so that's what people have taken out. List of library visitors. Deja V. <laughs> Ham ha hamsters. Ham stirs. Two twenty fighting the machine. <laughs> His name is Hamster. That's awesome. Anton Zero is the old swings and naked moose. Okay. Something, something, the tale of Crazy Engineer. Real life, the real life for dummies, or how I learned to stop being scared to alienate the computer. Uh, something actually useful. Dawn for the Midnight Bomber. Demolition skill. A based on true events bestseller by Police Captain Benjamin Edland. This has just enough useful information to help teach you how to better handle yourself around explosives. Yeah, baby. Yeah. That is for you, Yulia. Sure, that'll be a fun read. Let's watch the skill go up. Did that go up? Ah, there we go. Let's go speak to this interesting woman. I uh, notice you're floating on your bed there. Looks comfortable. Travelers, I can smell the loneliness of the empty, empty wastes upon you. I have seen your coming, and know why you are here. I did not, however, see that there would be so many of you. Will you take me in turn, or ravish me all at once? Uh, neither. A pillowy, voluptuous woman, dressed in a tattered, dressed in the tattered remnants of several sets of lingerie. She looks at you with heavily painted eyes. I'm yours for only 15 scrap. Do we have a deal? Uh. <laughs> what would happen if I said yes? Like, would one person. Like. Would one person be your client and then everybody else in my party would just watch and wait? <laughs> That'd be awkward. Uh, no, I'm, I'm fine. And now she's kind of kicking us out. Alright, what the hell is this? A magazine called Fredericks of Hollywood Catalog. Lies on a bedside table. Women in strange and revealing clothing pose on the cover. They all have enormous hairstyles. What the hell? Anna! Anna! Why? Go away, dialogue box! I can hear Anna's voice in my head everywhere I go. Like, I bet if I slept with her, like, the entire town would just turn against me. It's like, first you kill our boy, then you sleep with our women. Nope. Not gonna risk it. All right, this looks like a skill increase statue. Hmm. Heavy bronze and has obviously been kept up through the years. Can't do anything with it, actually.
see what's along this way. I mean... What kind of a quest do I have? Yeah, find a way to resolve the Topekan Atchison conflict. So I guess I need to find the Atch <clears throat> I guess I need to find the Atchisons. This is where they used to switch different trains from track to track. Back when they had more than one train. <laughs> Somebody's been drinking. Oh. You are almost overcome by the smell of fermented cactus fruit. Above the door is an old sign that reads, The Little Red Hen, home of Dr. B. Bilius Balfour's world-famous snake squeezins. Hastily scrolled beneath the old sign, you read, No desert scum allowed. Uh, I guess we're desert scum. Well, I'm coming in anyway. Let's go for a drink. Ranger in his thirsty work, isn't it? Indeed it is. <laughs> you know, back home, when cactus goes bad, we throw it away. Yep, and here they drink it. Looks like these are all generic citizens. You are very drunk. You're named. What happened to you? Oh, sleeping. Fair enough. Paunchy, red-faced, and ferociously bearded. The bartender looks like an old, overgrown dwarf from some pulp fantasy novel. Except for the little black cap with the red star that he wears perched on top of his mop of gray hair. Welcome, Rangers, to the finest bar in Topekan territory. I'm always happy to supply libations Libations, that is a word, yes, for the storied and heroic paladins of the desert. We are proud to pour the finest squeezins known to man. And for rangers, at the finest price known to man. Wait, have I said no deserts come allowed and also doesn't everybody here hate me? Because I murdered that them there dare kid? Uh, how do you feel about the desert rangers? Always welcome in my establishment, provided they don't get no thirst for killing. Well, I did kill two people, but it was self-defense. How, how do you feel about being a Topekan? Folks say a rail nomad is divided between the Topekans and the Atchisons, but it ain't so. The Topekans run the trains and start of the town. The Atchisons just work here. Interesting. It's a different perspective from the head dude. Uh, what do you think of the Atchisons? Used to be good customers, till Kakaba kicked him out of the camp. Now Casey James and the rest of them are so mad at us, it's best to shoot them before they get close. Liable to blow themselves up elsewise. Yeah, apparently they like explosives. <laughs> they got a camp on the outside of ours. Pathetic. Surprised it don't dry up and blow away. And them with it. What do you think of Casey James? He was a good man once, for an Atchison. But even then, he was stubborn. Now that Kikaba's kicked him out, he's gone from stubborn to murderous. Yeah, what about Kikaba? He's our leader. And he's one tough hombre. Helps keep the local jerks in line. I just wish he'd ease up a little bit on those Atchisons. Not that they ain't evil murdering bastards, but this war is hell on trade. Who's sta uh, what's standing in the way of trade? We are. Until us Topekans stop fighting them Atchisons, we'll never get that train running. And that'll never happen because Kekaba and old Casey James are too stubborn to compromise. They both blame each other for the wreck, and they both claim the Golden Spike is theirs by right. What the hell is so special about the Golden Spike? The Golden Spike is the honor of our tribe, given to us by John Henry himself, no matter what the Atchison say. If we was to lose that, we wouldn't, but we wouldn't beat Topekans no more. I 
They both blame each other for the wreck. Well, I already know about it, but let's just see if there's anything new here. Happened a few years back. Uh-huh. You blame the Atchisons for not maintaining the rails. They blamed us for not maintaining the brakes. That's why they stole the brake shoe, too. Tell me more. Tell me more about the brake shoe. It's the thing that makes the train stop. The Atchisons took it from us. They said they wouldn't let us run the trains unless we took better care of them. Ask with the arms, see if there's anything new here. Yep. Jerks. Uh, oh yeah, all the hobos and junkies and rail thieves that live around here. Always busting things up and not worth the spit it takes to curse them. Alright, so apparently got a lot of problems here. Thieves and junkies and hobos. You don't like the hobos? They're my best customers. Intel, they're my worst. You have a problem with junkies? No use for those losers. They don't drink squeezins, they just snort circuit. Disgusting. Wait, is that that scorpion thing that somebody mentioned on the radio? What is that? Yeah, they make it out of ground up scorpions. Poison, if you ask me. That sounds like it. Who are these rail thieves? Train robbers. Of course, now that the trains ain't running, they're just robbers. Got to hide out somewhere between us and the Atchison camp. It's them we should be fighting, not the Atchisons, if you want my opinion. Hmm. I'd go a long way towards restoring my reputation. If I took them out. Something about the trains, they don't seem to be running. Don't I know it? Okay. Uh, yeah. So if they were running, you could get a lot more sales, could establish a regular trade with, them, um, with my far-off customers. Right now, all I got is Sammy Haas, and he makes his rounds on foot. It's all that goddamn Casey James fault. Sammy Haas, or Hayes, isn't the person I wanted to talk to? Yeah, where is he? He's around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Down the end of the bar. Wait, this guy? Oh, that's him. Yeah, I remember I wanted to talk to him because of Ace for some reason. Although I don't exactly remember why. Uh, we'd like to buy some squeezins. Sure. I'm just curious. To be honest, you already seem tough as nails, but if that's what you want, you came to the right place. Buy all you need. It's always on sale. How many bottles would you like? Ugh. I have no reason to buy any of this. No thanks. Oh, uh, we're good. Alright, Sammy. Whoa, you're looking badass. Look at that. Holy crap. R R Rangers? I don't know nothing about it. Whoa, calm down. Calm down. What it don't you know about? Idiot. I don't know anything, honest. You can ask anyone. I, I just peddle booze. What kind of booze? I'm a traveling snake squeezing salesman. I buy wholesale from. Gorkanovich? Yeah. Gorkanovich here and sell around all around the wasteland. High Pool, Accent, or even Ranger Citadel. Did you know a ranger named Ace? Who? N no, never heard of him. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Let's hand this one over to Theodore. Oof. Need smart ass level 6 if I want to get through, okay. Or hard ass level 4, which I believe I have with Angela. Perfect, hard ass level 5. Nice. Have you heard what we do to liars? All right, please don't hurt me, Rangers. Yes, I traveled with Ace. It's always nice to have a Ranger for company on the road. Keeps the bad guys away. But... But not this time. Something was hunting him. And it attacked him our second night out of Rail Nomad. Killed him, poor guy. Oh, uh, almost forgot. I grabbed his logbook before I went looking for help. Oh, cool, so yeah, you... This is where I'm gonna get the uh, rest of his logbook. 
Where exactly did you find his log? I found it in that thing's shoulder pack and I took it. But I was going to give it back the next time I came around to Ranger Citadel. Honest. Here, take it. I don't want it. Awesome. So, uh, how was it killed? It was a terrible fight. That thing tore into Ace like a ripsaw. I fired a few shots at it, but it didn't pay any attention. It just kept hacking at Ace with those knives that came out of its body. Then when, when Ace wasn't moving anymore, it stole his pack and his case and started to crawl off with him. Well, it couldn't walk, could it? Ace had shot one of his legs off. It didn't get far, neither. After a while, all the oil bled out of it and it just lay there. Then the lights went out in its eyes and it was gone. Something was hunting him. Alright, so what? Yeah, what's something? I mean, I already know what's something, but... Let's just see what he says. Plastic, yep. Looks like a man, but it was made of plastic. Alright, well, thank you for the logbook. You ever heard of Hellraiser? He's another ranger, right? Ace talked about him a couple times. Said they was on the same trail, only coming at it from different angles. No idea what he meant by that. Hmm. The same trail. Whoa. Hang on, Echo One. I can't... Oh, God. Angela? Angela? Well, shit. Nobody seems to care. Well, we're making a name for ourselves in town, aren't we? Come to town, try to save a boy everybody thinks we just left him to die and didn't even try. And then I killed the boy's mother in self-defense and the elder because for some reason the elder hated me too. And, and then Angela murdered a dude who didn't do anything. <coughs> Uh, you didn't see anything, right? No, you're good. Alright, goodbye. Wait, hold on. There wasn't anything on this body, was there? Nope. Goodbye. Nothing in the log there. Particular interest. Alright, well, <laughs> this is off to a good start. Let's read his log, or not. I can't read it. That's weird. Why can't I read it? Hmm. Alright, does that complete the quest? Samuel has given us the rest of Ace's logbook. It's a little torn up and there's several pages missing, but General Vargas will want to see it anyway. Okay, yeah, I guess he just return it. Okay. Watch yourself in this place. The guy who runs it is, uh, touchy. What the hell even is this place? Looks festive. A sign out front of this rail car says, Holidays Armageddon Emporium. Explosive bargains. On either side of the door, two ancient security cameras track your every move. This is the scariest general store you've ever seen. Explosive booby traps are strung throughout the merchandise, and multiple sets of wires lead to behind a concrete wall with a thick bulletproof glass window. From behind the window, a Mr. Holiday greets you. I see, so I guess he can explode everything and be perfectly safe at a moment's notice. Holy shit. Everything is explosive. Absolutely everything. Uh, 
create a zoid with enough explosives to carve a mountain. Can use my demolitions. Oh, wow, I actually can use my demolition skill. However, doing so would be a particularly particularly unwise thing. Yeah, they're all the same difficulty. Hello there. Holly Day. <laughs> that picture. <laughs> it's like some angry old Paul Newman. Paul Newman of the Wastes. This man has a part in his neatly cut hair that is as straight as a ruler. His buckskins and boots are spotlessly clean, and sweat is dripping down his closely shaved cheeks. He looks about one second from exploding. You here to trade? What are you selling? Sorry, shelves are a little empty today. Damn rail thieves jumped my supplier and made off of three big crates. I'll have the last laugh, though. Kickabah said he'd pay them ne'er-do-wells a uh, visit as soon as he dealt with the Atchitsons. Of course, that may take a while, so... Scorpion. Probably nothing I want in particular. I could get a bunch of pain relievers to give to the doc. Those are mighty expensive, though. Well, they're not that expensive, but... Nah. I'll give them what I find and nothing more. Alright, well, I might be able to do something about these rail thieves. Rail thieves stole your supplies? I'll say they did. Bastards. They're like roaches. For every one you kill, three more come out of the shadows. Bigger threats than the Atchison's, if you ask me. Why, if someone is to kill a few of them and recover my shipment, I might be so grateful I'd give them a discount on some of my goods. Oh. Oh. Huh? Uh, sorry. Tell me about Kekaba. He's our chief. An honorable man and a great leader. With the power of the Golden Spike to guide him, he's sure to get the train running again. I know it. What do you know about the Golden Spike? To the Topekan Totem. Because gold is the point. <laughs> okay. That's what I figured. With it to guide us to riches, uh... And, and a... what? With it to guide us to riches and a the train to take us there, we will be unstoppable. Yes, I agree. And A the train. And A the train. How do you feel about being a Topekan? Rail riders and honest traders, that's us. We built the train and we keep it running. Yeah, at least we did until those Atchinson stole our brake shoe. <laughs> the brake shoe is important. <laughs> it seems dumb to even ask this, but, you know, maybe it'll lead to interesting dialogue options, like... It's important to be able to break in a train? You don't say. You don't know much about trains, do you? The brake shoe is what stops the train? I don't know why Kekaba doesn't just kill Casey James and take it back. Tell me about Casey, I already know about him. Uh, yep. Terrorist, booby traps, yep. <laughs> booby traps everything with booby traps everything with bombs, can you believe it? Yes, yes I can. You do the exact same thing in your store. You're proud of the Topekan train? Of course. If the train was running again, I could double my selection and lower my prices. Business would go through the roof. I wish Kekaba would just finish off Casey James and be done with it. So what do you think about the Atchinsons? Sore losers turned murderers, they, got, they get what they deserve. All right. So most, well, two of the three people I've spoken to so far don't have a lot of love for the Atchitsons. Though the bartender didn't seem to really care. Yeah, bartender seemed more neutral. This 
place is huge. My god, look at this. Oh, Ralphie's still marked on the map. Oh. My god, there's so many places to visit. Alright, well this episode is already, already running about an hour long. I better end it here before it becomes two hours. Alright, well that was a full episode of me shooting my reputation in the back. Stay out of no man's land, rangers. That place is crawling with rail thieves. Well, good. I hope to meet some. Can bring some justice in the form of an M37 pump action shotgun to the face. So, yeah, not exactly a, a good episode in terms of improving the reputation of the Rangers, but uh, there's still time for that. It's a break shooter, you know, return back and a long standing conflict that I hoped, hoped to resolve without killing an entire side of the conflict. We'll see. I'm pretty sure I can do it. Got Theodore's silver tongue and Angela's spiked tongue, I guess. Yeah, we'll see what we can cook up. And then afterwards, we'll have some snake squeezins and have a smoke. Oh yeah. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.